Okay, everyone. Um, due to the previous few videos I've recorded, someone actually asked me to help them with this function known as VLOOKUP. Okay, so this thing called VLOOKUP. And another comparative function known as HLOOKUP. Okay, these two functions are notoriously difficult in Excel. So we shall see what it means. So what it actually means is, if you go to VLOOKUP, yeah, VLOOKUP, look at the description. It says, it looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table, then returns a value in the same row. Okay, it's look, in a, it has to be the same row from a column that you specified. By default, the table must be sorted in ascending order. Okay, so what, how does this, the first form, let's say H lookup. Okay. So oops. Okay. Now if we go to H lookup, it actually returns the top row. Look for value in the top row and returns the same, the value from the same column. Okay. So it's a the confusion part is for VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP is which is the row and which is the column you're talking about. So let's go through this and make our life a bit easier. Let me go through an example. We have seen this data sheet from our diabetes data just before. Okay, when we are doing our contingency tables or your not very contingency tables, when we are doing the pivot table. So as I mentioned, this table is consists of two pieces of information. The patient ID, then you have the physical of the patient, location, the age, gender, height, weight, and frame of the patient. Then you have the clinical aspect of the patient, the clinical test result. So what I did is I split this table into two different parts, the physical, just the physical part, and the clinical. My purpose is to use VLOOKUP Okay, why I use VLOOKUP to construct this origin, the whole this master table again. Why do I use VLOOKUP? Because VLOOKUP allows me to look up items in a vertical row. So I'm looking up a column. Because I'm looking up a column, I have to use VLOOKUP. So let me just call this as Example. Okay. Usually, VLOOKUP requires, or is better, that the IDs is in um, ascending order. So both the IDs have to sort in ascending order. So let's try to sort it out again. Sort. <clears throat> I sort my ID from smallest to largest as ascending order. Okay. I do the same. So that makes our life a bit easier. Okay, all right. Then what I do is I copy the ID to here. Okay, let me expand it a bit. Then I want this. Okay, copy here. And I want it from the fiscal or from clinical. So how do I example um, let me just sort this out first. How do I assemble all the data inside? Let's look at how do we use VLOOKUP for this. So I have VLOOKUP. Okay. So what I'm looking for is I should get this row. Correct? Let's say if I'm doing right, I should get this row. So let us go and copy this row somewhere else. Maybe let's put it here. Okay. Just copy somewhere else. It should be Birkenham, age is 60. So, so it should give me Birkenham, the age is 64, female, height is 157, um, weight is 40. 54.9 kilograms and uh, frame is medium. So do I get the same data when I put it in? So let me do a VLOOKUP. Okay. The 
as I say, the easiest to try is to use the this function argument. So what is the item that I want to look up? What is the ID? The corresponding ID between the two tables. So this is the ID. Okay, the ID. The table array. Which table I want to look up to? I want to look up in physical. So I highlight the whole physical. All right. So then it asks me the column ID. If the lookup value is found in the first row, okay, that means found in A, which, which column do, you, do I want to get the result? I want to get the result from the location, which is column index number two. Okay, then see, Buckingham is out. Lookup, if I want an exact match, I will say false. If I want a mm, closest match, I'll say true. But usually, to make our life safer, I'll put false. So I have Buckingham here. So when I go to H, what do I have to change? I really just have to change this column index because then it becomes a third column, gender becomes a fourth column, height is the fifth column, weight is the sixth column, frame is the seventh column. Okay, does that is that clear? So then all we need to do is to copy this whole thing, copy the whole formula. Paste it all over. Okay. After that, I just change the column index because it looks up column number two. Why Buckingham appears here? Because if I found it, it looks for column, the second column. Pull the data this Buckingham over. But I want it to pull 64. So it's a third column. So here, column index number is third. See, 64 is out. Gender will be Fourth column, height will be fifth column, weight will be sixth column, frame will be seventh column. See, you get the data back. Okay, don't bother too much about 1.5, 1 1.5748 and 1.57 because this is see this is talking about the number of decimal points. Okay. So once I have it. I can just extend out across to everything. So all the data is here. All right. So I can actually give do a quick check whether do I get all the correct data. Okay. If this is the correct, I just copy, paste it here. Right, and I just do a few comparisons, okay. so I can um, hide these few columns first, and I do a quick comparison. Okay, is it correct? Looks correct. I just randomly pick a few others. Two, okay. So this let me extend out. You see, row number two hundred ninety one is two three zero. 20309 and 20309 is the same data. Yes, it's the same data. Okay, I can continue doing it. Will see even the last one, it is the same data. So you just check for a few rows to make sure that everything is right. Okay, then you can unhide this and let's go to the top. So let me just dump this away. Delete. Now we want to assemble the second one, which is the cholesterol. So it is identical. Cholesterol is clinical. So here it look for in physical table, but I want from clinical table. Okay. So what do I do? I can repeat the same thing. V lookup. Lookup value is the ID. The table that I want to look up is the clinical table. Column, I want the second column, B. So second column. And I want a exact match. If everything goes well, I should get 203 in my cholesterol. Let's look at it. See, 203. Okay. Then if everything goes well, high density lipoprotein is 65. Uh, not 56 and 
that correlated hemoglobin is 4.31. So I just go back, copy this whole thing. Oops. Copy this whole thing, put it over. Now I want from the third column. Okay, because column three is your high density lipoprotein. It should also give me 56. Correct. And here I can do the same thing, four point something. So I change this to column number one, two, three, four. Column number four. There you have it. Okay. So if you want to do a more thorough check, I can even do it this way. I can ensure that all the rows, you just have to pick a few rows to make sure that it's doing the correct stuff. So same thing, I will pick this, dump it here, and see whether are the data right. Okay, so here, to make our life easier, we may just have to reduce the number of decimal points. Okay, too many decimal points, it's very hard to read. Get to the same decimal points. Let us go to somewhere in the, I don't know, maybe 85 is my nice number. Correct, 198, 647, and so on. Okay. Is it ID number 4753? Yes, ID number 4753, correct. So you just do a few quick checks and make sure that everything looks okay. So I should get 180, 39, 180, 34 and 5.9, 5 3.59. Yep. So essentially, that is how V lookup works. H lookup will be very similar. Just that H lookup is looking at the row, and then you find the correct col um, You find the correct column. So it is slightly different. Now, essentially, I tend to use VLOOKUP more than HLOOKUP because what I have done is, if you know some of, you've done databases before, essentially VLOOKUP enables you to do a joint, a joint of these two tables into another table. So that's how VLOOKUP works. Okay. Hopefully you will have some, um, some interesting data that you can play with and hopefully VLOOKUP will help you substantially. Okay, that's all for today. Have fun.